Welcome to today's GSN Spotlight. Today we will be interviewing Ashton Adams and May Savage on the current uh, cross country season. Um, so I've been in cross country since around, or yeah, since seventh grade because that was when I could start to do it. Um, I really just started because I I thought it was just something to do, and I've I've always kind of been good at running. So that's cool. That's cool. Uh, how much have you improved over since, since seventh grade? Um, I've actually improved a lot because I used to not even be able to run like the full two miles in middle school, but now now I can run three miles pretty fast with um, not too much of a problem. I could never. Uh, what keeps you going uh, during these races? Um, the main thing that keeps me going is that I have a team that I have to be there for because if uh, it's the top five runners who qualify for your team. So if one person decides to just not not do that much that day, then it affects everyone and not just you. And uh, do you have a goal this year? Um, this year I want to try to get like either a low 17 or below 17 for the three mile because last year I got into low 18 so I'm trying to improve by like a minute or so every year. Uh, do you have any like uh, pre-running rituals? Um, well we all stretch before every run and we have like little we do like little team gathering and all hype each other up and that's pretty much pretty much it not too much. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, what's the best advice you have received in the sport? I think the best uh, advice I've received so far is just run hard, run fast. Because, um, like I said, you have a team to, that you need to back up. And that if you're not running your hardest and you're not running your fastest, then um, it's going to affect everyone. And you're not going to be the only one that's left behind. Well, thank you for joining us. No problem. Yep. How are you today, this lovely Tuesday morning? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, lovely. Uh, what's your favorite part about cross country? Probably the people who do it. They're all like, kind and help me get through it. That's great, that's great. Uh, why do you run cross country? Um, cross country helps me stay in shape for all the other sports I do, like softball and track. Ah, couldn't be me, I hate running. Uh, are there any athletes you look up to? Um. Well, for softball, I really look up to Sis Bates. She's, like, an awesome player. And, yeah. How do you stay motivated when running? The people who do it, they help me, like, push myself and get better and just keep doing it. Yeah, it's great having people support you. Uh, when is your next race? Our next meet is on Friday in Round Rock. Well, good luck. And uh, what are you aiming towards in your next race? I want to get top 20, but it's a really big race, so I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a good goal, good goal. Uh, you play softball, how does that uh, translate into cross country? Well, you have to run faster on the bases, so like, in, like, if I was playing softball, it helps me do cross country better because I'm already in shape by the fall because through the summer I'm always playing then I get to go to cross country and then just I'm already in shape. So on the flip side how does cross country help you in softball? Like it just helps you like run faster like around the bases and like you can like do more whenever you're faster. So just staying in shape? Yeah. yeah. But cross country complements track so how do you balance uh, track and softball in this, in this spring? Um so I'm not sure about that yet because I haven't ever done it before, but I'm going to try to do it this year and then see how it works out. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to GSN Spotlight. Be sure to support Cross Country as they travel to Round Rock this Friday.